The most romantic thing. Is that romantic? Um, I try to do stuff like like that with my wife as much as possible because we're always traveling so much. So when I'm, whenever we're home, I always try to have at least one or two date nights during the week. Um, on our honeymoon before she got sun poisoning, um, we uh, we had a nice little. We had like this little deck that you could jump into the uh, ocean, this little bungalow. And I had her favorite meal, her favorite type of drink, um, and her favorite flower, and all of it ready to go, sitting on the actual little balcony thing at sunset. And uh, it was just really cool, you know? I mean, she's an awesome chick. I love her, so. Try, try, just try to do something as much as I can. You know, making it up. There you go. That was pretty romantic. And fun. For the whole family. Oh. God. Uh, George Clooney. What? I called up George Clooney to come see my wife one night. And they both did. And there's where my new son. Now he has blonde hair. What? He <laughs> so has gray hair. My son doesn't have gray hair. Yes, he does. <laughs> Anyways, um, you know what? I gotta say, to be honest, I'm working on a little bit more of the romantic side. Um, I mean, I've done some things in the past for like my wife, you know, like go on vacations and like have like the room with the like, rose petals and the bathtub and stuff like that. But I gotta say that. I actually met somebody who's definitely more romantic than I am. And uh, it's taught me to, because uh, I've, I've come to realize over the years that sometimes it's kind of easy to be uh, contained. Uh, I don't know what the right word is, but a little bit con uh, reserved. Yeah, reserved. 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 You know, we, we're, we're really blessed in what we do here that a lot of things are catered to us, whether it's Anything from our clothes sometimes. Chicken or wings. Chicken yeah. wings. You want or whatever chicken you want. Wings? Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. So, um, but my wife for my 40th birthday actually made up these t-shirts. I don't know if some of you guys saw yesterday. I had, like, I had a cut-off sleeve t-shirt. It had like a Van Halen, like an HD on it. And it had like a tour. It looked like a tour uh, t-shirt. And on the back, it had all the different dates where we started celebrating my 40th birthday here over the tour in Atlanta, and South Carolina, all the places. And then... Uh, uh, last spot uh, for my birthday, she, we did a surprise visit, a uh, surprise trip out to Palm Springs, which unfortunately I found out last second. So poor thing was crushed because she worked so hard on making surprises for me. But uh, when I got there, little by little, friends that I didn't expect that were going to be there showed up. She worked like two and a half months on making this really special for me. And uh, actually the last dinner that we all had together, uh, I had about 40 friends that showed up from all around the world. Uh, and they actually all had these rock t-shirts, like I was just talking about, the HD Van Halen kind of shirts, with all the dates that we celebrated my, on my birthday in the back. Uh, and when I got there, they were all wearing these t-shirts, and they had like an unbelievable catered dinner with candlelights. Uh, it was, like, waving a, that tea around, it, was a, it was a white table, and it was really cool. So now I have to like really think of something, because she's turning 40 as well this year, so. We talked about going to Greece as the last spot. So I'm about to start doing some research on what's romantic over in Greece to do now. Oh, Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Brian? I can go. Yeah, just, um, actually, it's interesting. I'm really I'm the least romantic out of the entire group. Trust me on that. Um, but I more than me. Yeah. <laughs> I just actually learned that right now. I didn't know. I figured you'd be this, the whole sweet bee thing. You know? <laughs> it's a different time of the night. Uh, so. <laughs> I thought there was a reason for it. Um, but uh, anyways, right off in the Caribbean, down in Key West, um, when I got engaged to Lauren, I, I had my boat, which was, I, I hadn't driven it in years. It's like this 25 foot pro line. And the, I, when I finally came down there, there was water in the engine. I, the, there was parts that needed to be replaced. I had this whole thing where I was like, okay, I'm gonna take on this island, a uh, small little island, and just kind of like make it our own little island. And, um, but then like a rainstorm came in and then that pushed us back. 
And so at the, at the whole time I'm holding this ring in my pocket, I'm like, oh my God, I just want to get it off my hands. I don't want to have it on me anymore, right? And so, and so like, I, I just had this knot in my stomach. And so anyways, uh, her, her and my dad, not my dad, uh, my, her dad and myself actually were fixing the engine. We were putting parts into it, getting the water out of it. And I'm like, I, I said, okay, now's the day we're gonna do it. So we get in the boat, we start driving out, and these waters, the boat breaks down, okay? I started off up again, and, and then I had to actually go back into the fuel tank and, and empty the water that was still in it and, and put it back in, start it up, and I was like, I promise there's a reason why we're going out to this island. It's just like, what the hell are you doing, right? It's like broke down three times. We finally get to the island. I had this whole thing planned out where I was gonna actually bury the ring in the sand, I was gonna walk on the island and be like, hey, I found this, right? What is this? And then maybe she told me, by the time I got there, I just put, I said, just take it, please. <laughs> I just, this is a dire situation. <laughs> Six days of torture. And this was the day in my body. So anyways, that, that was kind of pretty much the most romantic thing I ever did. Take it. And I don't know if I'm gonna do it for a long time. Okay, after that. Okay, man. Try. No, no. <laughs>